Carolyn Dawn Johnson on Windsor's FM 95.9, and we couldn't be happier because joining us, yay everyone, Victoria Banks, and you're going to be here performing tonight. Yeah, WFCU Center tonight with Johnny Reed, I'm excited. It is extremely exciting, it's exciting to have you here. I mean, I know when we when you first came in, I was asking you just weather-wise, I know you, you live in Nashville, and it can get cold there, Yeah. but uh, pretty, pretty cold today. It's, it's pretty cold, yeah, you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit ashamed of that I feel so sensitive to the cold because I'm a Muskoka girl originally, so I should be used to it, but I've been living in Nashville for 10 years. My blood got thin, I got turned into a wuss, you know. But you know what? Even though the temperature may be cold, at the WFCU Center we know it's going to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, is it ever? Are you excited about tonight? I really am. I've been looking forward to this for a while. It's going to be it's going to be great. And I hear this is the first country show at Yes, WFCU. it is. It's a big kickoff celebration. We're excited here at the station, too. And what's cool, too, is, I mean, to have you here, um, to have some of these wonderful artists, you know, in the city, and to support the station that just opened up, which is a, is a huge deal, of course. Yeah. I've uh, got to ask you, how long have you been doing this now? Well, um, I've been writing songs for other artists for a long time. That was my, my day job down in Nashville for the past 10 years. So I've written a lot of songs that people would probably recognize, but they didn't know it was me. Um, but Can you then, share one or two? Sure, yeah. Um, Saints and Angels for Sarah Evans. Nice. And uh, Come On Over for Jessica Simpson. And Johnny Reed Dance With Me. And... Yeah. Look at you! <laughs> awesome! Things, uh, that's kind of, you know, working behind the scenes. And then finally, this year, I came out with, with my debut album as an artist. So it's kind of cool to be standing in the spotlight for a change. That's and, wonderful. Yeah. That's one. I mean, that's the exciting is to hear. Something we didn't know about Victoria Banks. I mean, look at that. <laughs> is there anything else we don't know about Victoria oh, Banks? Oh, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, well, wait till tonight after we all get out there and party hard. Who knows what will happen? <laughs> now, you're right. going to perform t today for us, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll play you... Uh, I'll play you actually my, my brand spanking new single. It's uh, it's called Kiss Me, and it's one that I wrote by myself. I ran out to uh, get some ice cream from the store at midnight. I had a midnight sugar craving. And then I got the song idea on the way home, so I just put the ice cream on the table for a minute so I could go, you know, just write the song down. And then three hours later, the, the ice, ice cream was gone. A puddle, <laughs> total puddle. And, yeah, but I, I got this song out of it anyway. So. Well, thank you very much. Well, here's Victoria Banks and Kiss Me on Windsor's FM 95.9.
unbelievable. Thank you so much. That's a great song. Oh, thank you. And all going to get ice cream, girl? Yeah, you never know where you're going to get them from. That's what you come up with, getting <laughs> ice cream. Wow. And, and you know what? Maybe you can tell our, our listeners that typically it means songs that come to you sometimes come at the oddest moments or maybe even the hardest moments. Yeah, well, they do. You know, like <clears throat> when I started out, I actually went to University of Toronto for zoology. And while I was pursuing my zoology degree, I can't count the number of times that I had to write song lyrics across like calculus notes and exams. I'd be sitting in an exam and the count, you know, the time would be counting down and I'd get a song idea and I, it wouldn't leave me alone. I had to write it down. Just sometimes at the worst times, but also it's like it's total therapy too to be Absolutely. able to write. And so I, a lot of the songs on on my record are from personal experience and going through um, actually you know, went through a time when I was pulling myself out of a marriage that was unhealthy and abusive and moving on from that and learning how to, you know, have confidence in myself again and, and fall in love again. And so there's a lot that, you know, I put into song from that too. Now, now you talked about something interesting right there, coming out of a, a bad relationship, an abusive marriage. Yeah. Um, and you wrote, of course, but was there someone, an artist that pulled you through that as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Gosh, when I think about... I, I love, especially listening to female singer-songwriters, that's a big passion for me. So I love listening to artists like Chantelle Kribiazuk, Sarah, oh, yeah. uh, Sarah McLaughlin, you know, and that's outside the country vein, but of course in country there's Carolyn Don Johnson who we just heard, yeah. She's, I'm a big fan of her. So I, yeah, I, I grabbed onto a lot of, you know, powerful female figures to kind of pull me through that myself. And you know what's cool is that I'm I'm sure there are listeners out there who listen to some of your songs and it's helped them in whatever situation mm -hmm. that they're in. How does that make you feel? That would be that would be the ultimate for me. Would be the, the sort of pay it forward, you know, yeah. to be able to to help people get through those things. And a lot of I mean, some of the things that um, I, I try to be very honest in my songwriting. And and one of the songs, actually, the reason why Jessica Simpson and I ended up writing together to write "Come On Over" was because she also recorded another song of mine. Called Remember That, which was literally written from by myself and, and my co-writer Rachel Proctor, who mm -hmm. had also been through an abusive relationship, and we wrote a song to women who are in a, a, a bad relationship, and, and you know, trying to inspire them to stand up and, and get out of it. And and I've had a lot of you know MySpace messages and Facebook messages and stuff from people who were touched by that song, and that's the ultimate for me. Absolutely. I mean, and good for you for doing that to empower women to make sure you get your message across. And because we all listen to song, yeah, it's nice to get that message across. Good yeah. for you. Oh, thanks. And before we go, one last question. Mm -hmm. If Victoria Banks had to tell our listeners the, the, the most embarrassing moment she has oh. ever experienced, what oh, would it be God. that you can share? Because it's a family kind of show. <laughs> well, you know, I don't have a whole lot of them because t generally when I should be embarrassed, I'm not. Because <laughs> I just laugh at myself all the time. Kate knows that. She's here with me and I, I, I crack myself up all the time. She's always laughing at me. But um, I'd have to say, like, it reminded me of it when I was driving up last night um, and worried about coming into the snow because I haven't driven in the snow for a lot of years. But the last time I drove in the snow, I was up in Muskoka and my sister was in the passenger seat and it was a big blizzard. I was driving down the highway and I was giving her a big lecture about this is how you drive in the snow. <laughs> you have to be very, very careful. You don't ever touch the brake too, too much. You know, a really pompous lecture about it. And it, right in the middle of talking to her, I completely lost control of the car. Oh, I did like no. six donuts and ended up in the ditch. And we weren't hurt or anything, but we had to like dig our car out of the ditch. Lesson learned, huh? Yeah, so, yeah. Well, you know what, Victoria, <laughs> thank you for sharing that. And thank you for coming in and playing. Um, and tonight, if you haven't picked up your tickets, you still have the opportunity to do so, wfcu-center.com or charge by phone at 1-866-969-WFCU. That's 1-866-969-9328. Johnny Reed, special guest Victoria Banks, who's been our special guest today. Thank you so much, hon. Thank you for having me here. I'm so excited to have a new country station here. Thank you. So are we. It keeps us employed. Yeah. And, I, and Christmas is good in my house now. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> Thanks so much, Victoria. And here's some more Victoria Banks. And the wheel on Windsor's FM 95.9.